Welcome back to another week of 3D modeling industry. This week we're going to model these, this house which have a lot of props. So this is actually a typical finished product a house that you can make with Maya. And I think it's more details than the, maybe the previous any models have made. So we're trying to create a scene, an uh, enclosed scene. So enclosed scene means that there's a compound in the area we have all the items inside. So it's kind of a diorama and there's a lot of props that we can actually make to the scene and uh, try to make it telling to tell a story and environmental storytelling to the scene so there are a lot of props and proportion and this is, has to fit to the character we have a terrain and there's a grass foliages all over the place so the idea is this house we're gonna make and this is just cost about 8400 polygons which is still okay if you consider this actually a mid poly scene which can be made can be used for any animation and games project so of course we were aiming to create something that is the mid poly range low to mid poly range so here i'm gonna remodel this according to the same design the same house so in these lessons that throughout the whole week you will be doing the uh, z modeling side by side with the house so you can actually recreate the same same kind of design as much as possible while of course it's important to to understand the, the lesson here you're trying to recreate a same scale proportion environment as much as possible so here i'm actually starting with creating the terrain first so we want to get the main shape of first so the first thing is actually the terrain has to be the platform the platform we're looking at the house will be put on top so this one is about test the, the size of it we're looking at the size about maybe 1000 as a start so you can see here with a lot of times when you test out with the scale you you probably will not get the right scale the first time but when you when you get the right scale even the character you put on into the scene will be correct uh, when you put it inside the, any project or any game engine and find output so here's the kiss the scale so I'm kind of moving a bit up so the uh, the grip is actually just below of course uh, when I test out a bit more if you use 500 this is the scale of the house so we're looking at the house so the terrain is about 1000 now the, the house is about this size but of course the height itself must be we should start with a square you can also start with cube shapes or maybe half of it be okay so at the moment this is uh, roughly the size of the house almost similar so of course you can actually change it from the inputs here on the poly cube so roughly the shape so always go for uh, always for go for a foam number if possible when doing modeling try to avoid decimal kind of color of scale because that would be very hard to do from, from scaling proportion if you have some grip snapping functions so i kind of like make it a bit wider 600 in this case it's cm so just right nicely around the shape but maybe just got a bit a little bit more maybe 700 for the width and we got the whole house size roughly there and then the height is almost the same as for one floor so the upper part it will be the uh, the roof and what we're doing the stage now is this is the stage what we call blocking now the blocking is a process we actually wants to get the main shape out first the main shape of the, the scene so whether you have see a lot of props in the scene but always go for the main item the main dominant shapes in the scene model that one first because we want to get the proportion the overall proportion of the last structure first before we go into the details of single props in this case now we're actually blocking out the the scale of the house and the height of it now it doesn't need to go full exactly 100 percent but try to understand when you do modeling when you have a reference there so the references is good for you to see the topology and the scale proportion and if you can understand why certain models are made in this way then when you made the model yourself that's the that's where the learning comes in 
and, and most of the blocking stage you notice here, I just reusing the cube that I created in the very early on and it has to be just rough now just try to get the shape first so it can be just rough and you know, in this case then when I scale some of the shapes I we can actually be allowed to you know to have more freedom to be creative in the, the numbers and it doesn't matter in the end because the main shape the structure we already have the right number now all the small little details that we want to put in even details like the barrel and stuff and we call this cube in this case you see here I'm, I'm subdividing the house already because I'm getting the numbers of lines I would think that I will use to cut like the windows and the, and the the I say the partition of the house uh, like there's a lot of straight lines and you can see that if we use pop if you use the subdivision properly we can actually cut it correctly and the moment I leave it like this first so I'm looking at what else I can add in so I always save in my file is you notice that I save for quite a number of times just in case there's a problem and um, observing the details now this is a good approach for you to have a chance to look at for finished product then from there you can get an idea what you want to model in this case I want to model the rooftop and I'm using the extrude so the extrude I just kind of choose, choose the upper part of the rooftop and just extrude in this way because if you extrude this way you notice here it's uh, separate uh, in this case it's uh, still okay but I'll show you how we actually create that they just snap together so get the thickness of this first okay so roughly this is okay and then of course I'll with the face I'll delete the two faces on top here so once deleted them I can actually merge it because I use the vertex now to merge these two vertices and you're able to, to snap together because if you're not if you have a face in between you can't merge the polygon vertices because that's the it's a face inside so it becomes a a strange particular face that you, know, you will not able to merge anything so now the rooftop shape is kind of correct and I just need to do another extrude from the front of the back so they crease a little bit over the edges roof uh, extension so there you go so the, the blocking stage is kind of quite alright at the moment the most important is getting it right in the first, first instance that if the the main shape is correct a lot of those things you, you want to model later will starts to come in a correct scale proportion so kind of need to since this is a bit too tall so I got to press scale a bit lower now doesn't they go all the same I say it because uh, you can actually just modify a bit if you like to understand the skill has to feel in harmony that's why you have these references okay next thing is I continue to subdivide it I'm using connect to connect between lines so I can subdivide the polygon face so to get more partition more subdivision for me to extrude or kind of like the, uh, create the rear of the windows and maybe do some crashes in between so the side here I'm looking at the three windows here there should be two lines vertically and then one line in the middle horizontally uh, but because we can go for a bit more consistent like maybe making sure the faces are square rectangle would be nice okay so something like that can I just I'm going to connect the edges a bit more so the two windows are uh, partition this will be the partition so I press W when I and I have done the uh, the subdivision so they will become permanent if you don't press uh, W or you don't uh, press enter it will not create the line so it's just a preview uh, line so this has you need to execute so now I'm creating some more shapes to block up I and mean, then doing the uh, more the details now I mean like see this one is a cylinder so I'm 
trying to create the shape correctly first because the scale seems a bit too small okay so this is the scale thing just it's kind of like uh, the radius will affect the how big is it and the height is how tall and then you gotta test out and try that uh, which one will be correct so it's kind of small so the, obviously the shape has to go way way big but don't worry you can just go to inputs there and adjust from the uh, existing parameters we have like this one 50 height okay if i mean probably hundreds kind of it's large but seems to be okay so probably looks like the shape of this slinger there then okay put it get the scaling correct first okay so the scale the next thing is the uh, making sure you put it aside side by side with the house with the model items then the proportion won't go won't go out hand okay so that would be that part and then the furthermore subdivision let me look this here there's a door if I actually do have a door partition means that I actually have to extrude some of these faces inwards to create that material in this case I'm looking at this, this one here let me select again Okay, you can use here isolate select to isolate just these polygon cubes so you, you will not get the other face it's kind of affecting your selection so i'm deleting the board bottom because i don't need that bottom polygon face because it's on sit on the ground and then you will not see it at all so that way also easy for me just to extrude with a hollow below so now i'm trying to extrude this one but the I guess the uh, the shop portion. I'll do the door first, and do the interior. The door just pull inside, and then cause the uh, the shop window there. I probably need to add a bit more line. So because I can't get a, a thickness if I don't have the uh, one more line there. So you see, that's true. We always create some extra faces, so it to be always ever look up off the lines and the, the polygons that is created so here I'm just doing pushing this one so that way the whole thing I can treat as true inwards okay so there's a thickness also so you probably need to add another line there plan it properly get the first line out first okay get a few of the lines inside first instead H2 will be nice to use in this case it's the square it's so easy and then we have something like that just nice and uh, I want to shift the vertices a bit up to the top so there's more space okay around there it's nice for the rooftop okay now I'm gonna screw this inwards let's screw okay you should, could, shouldn't need to go all the way inside you can just keep it somewhere near the door, uh, the entrance of the door will be okay. okay so now, okay, the main shape is there already. Of course, we can do more details in the main shape or uh, blocking if you like, but just creating the uh, small props so you like. In this case, I'm creating 100, so 100 depth, height 10, and let's see what's come up. This will be one of the house or this one will definitely be used as the door okay so we're gonna use this as the door I would create two doors which just slot in so it creates the illusion that you, this door is able to close the door getting the height correct okay and then scale to pull it just nice to the doorway so it becomes a a partition door okay so the thickness I can actually adjust a bit if you like okay, put one side here and roughly there okay so the main shape is roughly already of course I can do more so here I want to create the address or the logo I we'll create the logo first slot in the logo there and the logo probably need more details but we should continue from here easily 